Hello everyone, we're here to do your astrological weather forecast for the day. It's an emotional forecast of your experiences. But what we're looking at here is look at this amazing stellium. And I reported yesterday that we are on a grand reset. And what we see here is that we have Cupido, which is the Roman, the ancient Lord of Love is right here approaching Venus and they're sort of traveling back in time. So the message that I'm seeing here for everyone is that we're having a grand reset in love. We have been in recent years really very dependent upon social media, you know, electronic means for finding love. We even see Uranus in Taurus, which is if you're into tarot, that is the Empress energy and Uranus is Aquarius, which is all of the electronics. So what we're seeing here is that we're getting very unexpected results in an area of our life that we really need stability. We need to be very grounded. That's what the Earth signs do for us. So with Venus up here in Capricorn and Uranus down here in Taurus, the grand reset that I see taking place is the ancient Roman god of love is sneaking up on this Venus. It's retrograde. And re Venus retrograde is questioning everything. Like, oh my God, why doesn't love ever work out? You know, I keep trying to go online and all these people online are just a burden to me. Saturn in Aquarius, Mercury in Aquarius retrograde. I never know what the truth is. I don't know what they're talking about. They come, they go, they disappear. They don't stick around. It's a burden. So that's the energy that's getting reset right now. And it's a really beautiful energy. We need this reset. We we need to be in a more spiritual place, which with Jupiter in Pisces in the 12th house of our subconscious mind is really bringing us good luck. It will be at full fruition when it comes into contact, when it catches up with Neptune in Pisces, which is the higher good. And so what I'm seeing here is that people are really gravitating to that which serves them. The moon opposite Saturn right now, um, you know, it's moving away from it, but it's been a heaviness. It's been sort of hanging over us. When we look at the moon square Uranus in Taurus, we stubbornly absolutely want to have fulfillment. And yet right now we have to let go of the idea. We have the south node, which is just moved. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. We'll do a south north node. But we need to get rid of all of our old ideas about sex and love and how all that works. And we need to sort of throw out everything and start fresh. And that's what we're doing. Cupid is tapping Venus on the shoulder and saying, come back here. Come back into the older patterns. Come back into the older ways. Come back into a more grounded, serious honest way of doing things with this Capricorn energy. Do the work. Do the work slowly. Don't expect immediate results. You know, let's go old-fashioned here. Let's take this Uranus and Taurus and make this into uh, basically values that you can really thrive and survive with. We look at Cupid tapping Venus um, on the shoulder right now. You know, don't start a new relationship. Lovers come back. Retrogrades, Mercury and Venus retrograde will bring a lot of people back. Uh, but what we're seeing here is you also have Juno. So we have this lovely um, trifecta here of Cupid, Venus, and Juno, the, the absolute father of good luck and tidings and good rewards for good karma. And it's moving into the sun conjunct Pluto, Phoenix rising from the ashes. So when Mars gets here and starts going over all of these points is when you are going to likely have a tremendous chance to reset your love life. As Mars gets into this energy over here, you know, four months down the road about, we're looking at Mars really helping you have clarity, coming to conclusions very quickly. 
being willing to drive, you're going to feel sometimes like you're driving with the brakes on or that you're caught in heavy traffic, but it's going to bring a whole different way of you operating in your love life through the activities that you involve yourself in to what you actively pursue that's going to give most of us a huge reset in love. Getting away from anything that looks vindictive or hidden or difficult, Scorpio energy, we need to let it go. If it's complicated, if it's hidden, if it's secretive, if it's dark, we just have to let the energy go and we have to live in the light over here. This Venus energy, the simplicity, this is a death card. This is Venus. This is the Empress card. So it's really letting go of our old belief systems and, you know, being very relevant, being of age, understanding that life is different than it used to be, but the basics still exist. The basics of a relationship are never going to change, and it's a reminder. For those of you who have any significant planets anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees in Gemini, you are feeling very rebellious right now. You are feeling highly annoyed at people expecting you to sort of do something that really doesn't fit right, doesn't feel right. And what I would say is that this is a good time to look at your Scorpio energy, figure out what that is and let go of it. Other people's expectations are not the actions you have to take. What I will say, though, is this is do not get into a battle with any authority figures where you rebel, especially if the people you're involved with are from a different culture, a different country, they have different expectations. If there's money on the line, be very careful. Be very, very careful because a rebellion could cause you some difficulties. You could lose a client, you could lose a friend, you could lose somebody in your life who will just sort of dip out, drop out. It can be, you know, a lover. It can be work. It can be money, but it can be a contract also coming from the third to the ninth. It also, if you're publishing something, it looks like I would hold on the message until Venus goes into camp, excuse me, until Black Moon Lilith moves into a more favorable position. Okay. So that's what I have for you today. It's been a joy. Take care. Bye-bye.